Alright, well here's what I did with my ATX power supply. I meant to put a reply straight up, but uh, flex wagon hadn't been working. And I just got it working again. You see them? My girlfriend made me them stickers. I went and tested all the outputs on it, just to open load, testing it with the meter. Got the switch and then the power button so I know when it's running. Cut this out. And this piece is the uh, one of the walls off the computer that I took the parts out of. And then that part, the mesh part down here is off the back side of the computer. I just hawk with the stuff together. It ain't really tough or nothing, but I've been carrying it by it, carrying it like a handle, and it hasn't broke yet. I made this like three months ago or something like that. It's paint on black tape. And the gray thing in here, see this gray part in here, I cut that out on one of them totes from Walmart so that I could run so I could run these bolts up through and make a nice connection whenever I do my alligator clips. And then, you know, I drilled that out so it don't touch none of this and ground itself out. But that's it. It makes it a nice, nice thing so no wires hanging out and stuff. And I can just pop the alligator clips on it real quick. And it don't do real good. I know it's it gives readings on here, but I think when you start not like like when you have something that's making it put out, I don't know, say over 12 volts or something. You don't actually get the amp reading. Something happens, it kicks off here. But it's real safe. It don't, uh, I can't imagine there's any way it could shock you unless you charge the cap up or something with it. Because as soon as you even touch the wires together, it, it kicks the unit off so you don't, it won't let the wires get hot or nothing.